what up youtube it's the real t-dog back at it again with steve in his garage we got the rsx on jack stands got the tires off because we're about to bleed the brakes we're gonna do an oil change and you know this is all prepping for a autocross event we're doing tomorrow yeah before i got here he finished doing stuff to his s2000 to prep it so now it's my turn there's not really much we're doing on the rsx other than the brakes and oil Although, what's funny is that I signed up. Y'all already know that I broke the, the rear window. I signed up, but apparently I can't have a broken rear window. Either remove the window or remove the hatch. Removing the hatch might make sense, but the thing is I already plan on replacing the rear window for with a Lexane panel. So we're just gonna remove the window and just, you know. <laughs> it's kind of a, what's the word? Um, uh, Un no, no, what's, what's the more sophisticated way to put it? Unconventional? Uh, modern problems. Modern solutions. <laughs> yeah, so modern problems require modern solutions, as Steve said. So the real video is going to be tomorrow when we do uh, the actual track stuff. So yeah, let's get to this. So there's like a little mini This isn't the right pose. Whatever. It'll work. It'll work. Nice. Wow, that brake through got dirty. to have some new engine oil and brake or engine filter oh engine oil filter god stupid ah oh, the s2000 filter at that man hold up all right all y'all rsx guys uh we're doing gonna be doing the oil but well, i'm gonna be using an s2000 oil filter supposedly it's a lot better you know better oil pressure and it, it surprisingly it fits you know and everything so Hopefully we'll get some some decent amount of uh, pros over cons when using this filter. So I didn't even know we could do that until Steve looked it up. That apparently some people run this, these filters on their K20s. So they're supposedly better than the normal Honda ones. Like there's what's it called? Uh, that these had that the normal Honda ones don't have or something. It's like all um, metal. It's a cardboard like filter. Okay, yeah. This one's like a metal filter. All metal in, interior. Uh, all metal guts and stuff. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be using. Hack, it's a life hack for RSF guys. Me the right here, not get lost. So don't change the diesel, turn it up a little. I got a living room full of fine dime bristles, waiting on the pistol, the diesel, and the chisel. G's to the bizzack, now ladies, we guess the one that. So we found out the uh, the uh, drain bolt is kind of rounded off and the socket's actually kind of stuck now. Luckily, Steve so had a extra one laying around that is actually still pretty good. So there's that. It's a potential hiccup right there. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to get to this oil filter. Wait. <clears throat> yeah, right there. Move backwards away uh, away from the engine. I think it's over tight. Yeah, it's not supposed to be that tight. Yeah. It's supposed to be 
feel and that AMS oil signature synthetic, that good stuff. All right, all done with the oil. Let's go start it to make sure there's no leaks. stuff is not working. <laughs> Wait, were you in neutral? Yeah. Okay, that was spinning. It's normal. From the yeah. The, the crank, I guess. Like yeah, the, you can actually stop it with your hand. I noticed that with bikes a lot. Like when they put them on stands and they turn them on, like it, like the rear tire you can see kind of spinning. I guess from like the crank momentum or something. I don't know. Bet. <laughs> All right, so, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where the <laughs> from? Oh, we've had it for a while. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm making it worse. Looks like Tony Stark. <laughs> All right, so we're done with engine oil. We're done with the, uh, wait, what else we do? Oh yeah, brake bleeding. So we're throwing on the tires back on and we're gonna do the unthinkable. Get rid of that rear window, so hold on. All right. Pulled out the car. Uh, Steve is uh, cleaning off the wheels, getting all the brake dust and uh, yeah, clean off all the brake dust and whatnot, just to, just to clean it up a bit. We're also gonna clean out the engine bay because there's a lot of like oil residue from like the past owners and stuff. I'll show you. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I see all this old residue. I think the power steering. Is leaking somewhere. It's a small leak, but it's it's a leak nonetheless. We Hondas cleaning Hondas. <laughs> getting some of that old power steering residue out of here. Oh damn. Pretty sure that's not a oil. Pretty sure that's power steering. <laughs> Pretty decent. Pretty decent. All right, the moment that we've all been waiting for. How does this even work? <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. The edges are totally gone. I think mm. it has adhesive still. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See, if you look at it from over here, you can see where the glass is separating. But oh, yeah. the part that's on the adhesive is still there, you know what I mean? So I think we should just get the main piece out. Yeah. Probably should. Yeah. That's good. There we go. I think any broken remnants you can just vacuum out. Yep. Okay. Let's uh give this a shot, I guess. Ooh. Oh <laughs> this part up? Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh! <laughs> convertible time. Oh, 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 the defroster. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, 
is like a truck. Holy sh! I think that I think that's a thing. I think that can be a thing. A truck SX. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh man. <laughs> if you actually close it off, it could be a little truck. <laughs> I, it's so light, isn't it? It's so, it's so, it's so light. <laughs> Here. Can't believe we're doing this, Steve. I, I can't. Because <laughs> of who we are as people? <laughs> For the record, I did not, in, at any point in recent history, I did not plan on doing this so soon. I wanted to do Lexane panels, like, but like, you know, a year or two from now. Don't look at it. What's next is we're gonna use like a razor blade. Well, first we're gonna get the shop back and clean up all this shards of glass. Then we're gonna try and get this uh, the remnants of the adhesive, the window adhesive. I have to use razor blades or something to get all that that remnants off to get the last of the glass off, and then we should be good. All right, guys. It's uh, it's been like an hour or so since uh, since we took this uh, the main part of the window off, and um, it took an hour because this right here, this adhesive that the glass sticks to the to the to the hatch, man, it was it was really really tedious. We had to take a I had to take a razor blade and like get in there and cut. As I peel, I cut. As I peel, I cut. You know, it, it just took forever. But damn, I mean, so keep in mind, if any of y'all watching this with RSX is, you know, trying to do something like this, Jesus, you know, set some time aside. Uh, I really wish I uh, had my uh, Lexan um, window, but you know, whatever. Race car life, am I right? Oh, and uh, while I was doing that, Steve hooked me and his cars up with with our numbers and our classes. ST3 for him, STX for me. I was supposed to be an ST3, but, but then they told me I couldn't because of my window. So I'm STX, whatever. 556, five, 121. One. This is gonna be an interesting drive home, that's for sure. That's pretty much it. Or just gonna, I'm just gonna vacuum up and clean up that uh, the excess glass on the ground and on the in the trunk and all that stuff. I'm gonna clean it up and call it good for a night. And uh, Next video you see is gonna be me and Steve on our way to, uh, or on the way to the track and then, you know, doing the autocross event. So anyways, with that said, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see y'all, it'll be tomorrow for me, but I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.